everyone. This is Karen Grace Clark. I'm the Program Director for Gold Lactation Online Conference. I'm here today talking with Dr. Carlene Gribble, and she's presenting at Gold a topic titled Milk Sharing and Formula Feeding, Infant Feeding Risks in comparative perspective. Now, Carlene, I know that you do talk a lot about this topic of milk sharing, so it's wonderful to have you here today chatting with me. Oh, thanks very much for having me, Karen Grace. I have some questions for you. The first one is just about milk sharing in and of itself as a topic. I mean, it is a very interesting topic and something that in the lactation world we were not really discussing very much even a decade ago, but now it's all over the place. Why do you think that is? I think it's mostly a matter of technology. So um, milk sharing has always occurred. It used to be wet nursing and then when people had refrigerators um, there was express breast milk being shared. Um, but now we have the internet and it means that people who um, didn't know one another before are actually able to connect in order to share milk. What an interesting point you make, technology. You're right because technology and the fact that we can communicate and connect with each other so quickly does kind of force us to come face to face with some topics that maybe, you know, we could have ignored many years ago. Now, you know, there are some very strong opinions about the topic of milk sharing, both among mothers themselves, but also, of course, their healthcare professionals and lactation professionals. You know, we don't all have the same consensus. Why do you think that is? I think at least part of it is because just the idea of breastfeeding and breast milk in itself is quite an emotive one. People have got um, very strong opinions based on their own personal experience. Um, they've also got views that are related to the the societies that we've grown up in and the cultures that we've grown up in and the ideas around breast milk um, there as well. So when you have those things together, um, it can make for quite an emotive um, topic and that makes it contentious. Indeed, you're right about that. Those emotions run very, very high when we consider breastfeeding and infant feeding at all and certainly when we consider the process of lactation and that milk coming out of a woman's breast and then that that product so to speak being shared you you i think you're bang on it's definitely very 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 much emotional and very strong opinion so um but for our delegates who are registered for our conference where you're giving this presentation what will they get out of this presentation carlene how how will um, viewing this presentation help them better understand the topic of milk sharing well, I really think this topic is for anybody who works with breastfeeding women because um, whether you want to or not, it's going to be um, something that will confront you at some time in your work. And so I think for when that time arises, it's really important for people to have the knowledge to be able to actually assist women in their decision making. And so hopefully um, this presentation will give delegates um, some idea of the uh, information that they need to consider to share with um, mothers around um, risk mitigation and those sort of aspects. But also for themselves, um, part of the presentation deals with the ethics of milk sharing and how to respond ethically to a, a, a situation where a mother is wanting to discuss milk sharing with you. Excellent. Thank you so much for pointing those things out. I'm really looking forward to this presentation myself and I'm so glad that you're part of Gold Lactation this year. Thank you for chatting with me today. Thanks very much, Karen Grace. And to all of our listeners, I'll just remind you that our conference officially starts on April 21st. Please head over to goldlactation.com and register to hear this presentation and all of the other ones that we have as well, if you haven't registered already. And uh, if you are listening to this presentation after the official start of, of our conference on the 21st of April, no worries. You actually have until the middle of May to register and listen to all of our recordings. Thank you, everyone, for listening today. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.